नमस्ते नमस्ते शिमला दीदी नमस्ते ऑल गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी नमस्ते सुनील जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग द शेयरिंग ऑफ एच वी थ्री जी सुनील जी ओके दीदी सो वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द शेयरिंग वी स्टार्ट द शेयरिंग यस्टरडे सो टुडे वी हैव वंजना दीदी विद अस नमस्ते वंजना दीदी नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते एवरीवन नमस्ते शर्मिला दीदी आई होप आई एम क्लियरली ऑडिबल यस दीदी आई विल ब्रीफली इंट्रोड्यूस यू एंड देन दीदी यू कैन पुट फॉरवर्ड योर शेयरिंग वंजना दीदी एज वी ऑल नो शी इज एसोसिएटेड विद यूनिवर्स ह्यूमन वैली प्रोग्राम्स फॉर मोर देन 5 इयर्स she is a phd in condensed matter physics from iit delhi and uh, she is an associate professor of physics at indraprastha engineering college gaziabad uttar pradesh she has been involved in teaching learning process in higher education for close to uh, uh, i would say 20 years by now published a um, number of uh, research articles in high impact journals um uh, she has been helping all of us in the uhp journey for more than 5 years by now uh, facilitating many workshops as well as participating in many of this um, projects in the usp realm didi is a mentor for me also so with this few words i welcome panchana didi uh, for her sharing in the morning session didi over to you thank you thank you sunil bhaiya uh, bhaiya gave my introduction but let me put this brief introduction for myself i am vanchna and uh, over nearly 6 years i have been associated with uhv and this journey which i am taking i am slowly progressing in this journey and finding it fulfilling for myself uh, i with my two daughters my husband and my mother in law along with um my husband's nephew we all as a family are living together recently nephew got married and we have a new member in the family and they have recently started their living so with this uh just to put that since january 23 i have uh taken this break in my teaching career and i'm spending more time at home with my mother in law as per her requirement and uh with uhp and so there is this little career gap which i am taking for myself during this duration and trying to put more effort towards my own journey uh putting up whatever i could take in the form of these little steps in my journey so this uhv 3 morning session started from end of march and in this uhv 3 particularly at each and every level starting from the self so over these 6 years i have seen a number of shifts in my own understanding every day when we put across the content for ourselves as well as uhv provided this ample amount of opportunity for me to share and discuss the content with my, with the co explorers which has been really so much enriching the kind of uh questions and the kind of sharings all 
are able to put across is facilitating a lot in my own understanding. Uh, to begin with, when I initiated my journey, my own understanding with he, what a human being is started from those same set of assumptions as human being equals to body. That was my state way back when I started my journey six years back, where in my own living, even though we might have heard so many things, but our living was basically with this assumption that a human being is equal to body. As I got to be introduced with the content slowly, I could, as an information to begin with, I started looking at the two realities, the self and the body. And with each day, I'm finding this shift within me. So to begin with, it was so difficult to look at my own thoughts. I could find them going haywire. But now with the effort that we have been able to put together and this journey is only possible with the effort which all of us have been able to put together. I have been able to look at the feelings and I'm able to touch upon the sanskars which are leading to these feelings. I would not be able to say that I've been able to completely transform the sanskars. I could find these sanskars very deep rooted. But now I'm able to make out that behind the feelings, there are these sanskars which are very deep rooted and I have to really work to ensure that each and every sanskar is with this understanding, the right understanding. So this last four months, I've been able to reflect more and more onto this sanskar part. So at the level of my own understanding, I've seen quite a lot of shift and enrichment at that level. In fact, the when I look at this whole nature, this existence, I can see the extension of myself. This word coexistence is now expanding for me. The word relationship is giving me more and more meaning. So in these four months, if I focus on this, I have been able to expand in my own understanding. I've been able to look at myself more carefully. I've been able to ensure my own understanding. This, this statement self is central to human existence and body is used as an instrument. I'm getting more and more clarity in my own living by this day-to-day -day practice and effort which we are trying to put together. And all, all of you together with, with those questions, with those queries are contributing towards my own understanding. So I could see my journey moving ahead. In fact, at times when somehow I have to miss some sessions because of some engagements at my end. And I find myself a little bit stuck at that point of time. There have been times in between when I could not uh, 
participate in the sessions regularly and i could see that there was this stucking within me where i could not proceed so maybe i'm i'm seeing that the journey may not be very rapid for me as such but i can see this consistent shift in my own understanding this this word mutually fulfilling behavior is getting new meanings for me i i'm able to see my day to day interactions this word relationship extending for me every moment so at the level of self over these 6 years i i find more and more enrichment in my own understanding and this is making it possible for me to ensure that i put in my participation at each and every level starting from my own family to the society with with this feeling of coexistence and as a sense of responsibility so i am able to initiate this activity of contemplation within myself that's what i feel for myself and whatever i am able to participate whatever little comes with that sense of uh, responsibility and as as an automatic outcome of whatever i could understand for myself that is how i would like to put it looking at the exercises so these exercises exercise 1 and exercise 2 which we are trying to observe ourselves with more and more clarity this state of self awareness i can see for myself that it is raising for me if i look back 6 years back i can see that i was in this state of unawareness where everything external was my stimulant in the sense that i could get triggered off with everything maybe as as a part of expression it may not be shown outside every moment but within myself i could see lot of contradiction with any kind of external trigger once we started with this initiation of the covid time the first time we could start with this exercise one that was the first step i could take forward towards my own understanding and this step one that is to be aware of our own imagination without any reaction to begin with i initially thought that probably there is no reaction within me this was how i started that look i i don't react because it was not expressed outside but the close observation of my own self made me clear that there's lot of reaction within myself which i may not be expressing every moment and therefore 
this being aware of my own imagination started helping me in looking at my own feelings whether they are naturally acceptable to me is it what i want to continue with so when i started with this exercise one initially focusing on step 1 to be aware without any reaction when i first did this exercise in batch 1 i was usually carried away and it took me time to be aware of my imagination and it's not that i'm aware every moment but now i can see this is the seventh uh time we are continuously over a stretch of time taking this exercise for ourselves and now i can observe more and more of my imagination in fact while while doing all other tasks i i i am aware of my own state and i can i can see this shift within me that now whether i am discussing with someone or i'm doing some task yet i can make this observation within me which is this shift which i have observed during this time that now i can observe my imagination for a much longer time and i can look at the feeling part that whether it is naturally acceptable to me there are times when this feeling i can see within me is not something which is naturally acceptable to me and i can make that observation that this feeling is making me uncomfortable this feeling is deviated from what is naturally acceptable to me so looking at exercise 1 i can in fact now these steps 1 2 3 4 i can find them coming together to me i can see for myself that it is i who is deciding this feeling within me at this very moment so i'm practicing it and i'm able to see that this exercise one is helping me in getting more and more clarity of my own state where i can see this happiness being something innate entirely at my own level the state of harmony and whenever i am able to ensure it for myself my participation at any level be it with my own family be it with anyone else that participation is more meaningful i am able to put in but the moment i lose my own awareness i i tend to do some error in my own living where where now that i am able to make out that this is where the feeling part went wrong and the moment this feeling part went wrong i i ended up doing something not so right in my own participation also and this unhappiness which i created for myself that is something which i am able to observe so i am practicing exercise 1 and trying to get more and more clarity of each and every step in my own practice i am able to make this observation for more often about the naturally acceptable feeling and any deviation from it whenever is there 
I'm able to make that out. Maybe immediately after the moment, the feeling has gone wrong. But there are times when I'm overwhelmed by a feeling which is not naturally acceptable to me. But now I can observe that for myself. And that is something which I'm able to do more clearly now, more often. That is what I can see for myself. So with this, looking at the body through the self, that is exercise two. Now with this exercise two, when I started, for the very first time, the, the first step in itself, it, it came as an information to me to begin with. For each one of us, it's similar to that, that I and body coexist. And I kept that information for myself. Now, with, with more and more clarity on self, whatever I'm able to make for myself, now this exchange between the body and the self in the form of information, in the form of this instruction, that is something which is becoming more and more clear that it is I who is taking the decision. It is I who is giving all the instructions to the body. And this body, which now I'm finding is helping me in living more meaningfully, which means it is giving all that information. So this feeling of responsibility towards the body, I am finding it more and more to rightly utilize it, to nurture it. In fact, what I find is that over so many years, somehow we have overused the body at times, ignored it. So this, this break time, which I have taken for myself, for the family, to work on myself, I'm trying to understand more and more of how to clearly get the sensations and the meaning which I associate, where I can see that I am at a distance from the body, but I'm working on it. And the little experiments which we keep encountering in our day-to-day -day activities. For example, I was just doing something within the kitchen some three, four days back and the oil spilled over my hand. And I could just see that a momentary mistake in the way I put something into the oil led to that spilling. And I could make that observation very closely that there was this sensation coming to me and since everybody was sitting around and all that, and I made that choice. So these steps where I am the decision maker, I instruct the body, I read the sensation. I'm able to observe that, that the sensation is at a distance. It is taking place in a specified part of the body. And so these little 
observations are becoming more and more precise and that that's what i feel as my own progress in the journey where i'm able to observe my sun stars initially when i first heard these words i i was not very clear what are we referring to as sun stars but now i am able to relate that the feeling that i have is being originated from some of my sun stars which are very deep rooted the the reactions that still do come are a consequence of these deep rooted sun stars which i have to work on and the more and more i am able to observe myself i can see myself shifting towards my own natural acceptance something which makes me more and more comfortable so this exercise 1 and 2 are helping me in getting clarity within myself able to make more and more close observations for myself uh looking at how my own living has shown a shift over last 4 months or maybe in fact over such a long time what i observe is i'm more comfortable within me earlier i was not able to observe the discomfort is something which is my own and i can clear that discomfort within me i was not capable of that but this six years of journey very difficult for me to classify in parts but the six years of journey has enabled me to see myself with more clarity getting more clarity i can see within these four months what i could see is that i am able to especially with exercise 2 in these four months i have been able to get closer to those deep rooted sanskars which are there i have not been able to get out of those sanskars at this moment that is not something which i have done but i can see that this the steep rooted sanskar within me which which gives me this feeling which is not naturally acceptable and i i'm reacting the moment i react even though it may not be visible outside but this reaction within me i can take a note of it so what i see is that i am getting closer to the step 6a in the exercise 2 where i am able to see these reactions which are within me and how they are affecting my own state of harmony and now i can slightly pinpoint them i'm working on it and i see it strengthening for myself but i have a very long way to go i i see my own limitations i see my own states at time whenever there is this discomfort within me i i see it affecting my body and i can see how my own state at the level of self whenever there is this unhappiness how is it expressed in terms of the unnecessary instructions which we keep giving to the body so that the body is in a state of 
stress. So all that observation I'm able to see for myself and I'm working towards it. As far as my interactions with my family members are concerned, to, be, to begin with, what I could observe till last time was that I started putting myself with more clarity in front of them, where I could tell them that, look, this is what I am feeling at this moment. And this helped me in making them understand my own state. And now I am able to facilitate them also to look at their own state. So with my own daughters, I, I try to help them to look at their own state. And that is this over these past four months, I've been trying I, I got this chance. My daughter came from Mumbai and is there for last two and a half months on this long vacation from her college. So this exercise, I'm trying to help her also to start initiating this exercise for herself. And our discussions as now that she's 20, so that discussions that we have are becoming more and more meaningful, which is very fulfilling for me. This is something which I can see as a shift within these four months at the level of family, which I can see. Participation, as far as my commitment is concerned, uh, since now that I'm not on a nine to five kind of a commitment, of some academic institute, I'm able to spare more time, taken up few responsibilities, whatever I can do within my own capacity. And I can see spending four to five hours on an average every day for various tasks related to UHV also. And over the last six months, I've been able to focus on myself, I've been able to put in more effort and I'm finding all this very fulfilling. So as far as commitment is concerned, I have my full commitment from my side. And this is how I'm proceeding in my journey and hope to continue. So this exercise one and two, I hope I'm able to proceed progress more and more into it. The word relationship is finding new meanings for me. The word coexistence is expanding for me. I can see it around me every moment. And it is helping me to get more clarity. This word happiness is innate to me. I'm able to see my own role in my own state, my own happiness. And I'm working towards it. And all, all the co-explorers have been contributing in my journey. I, I feel so grateful to all who are contributing in my journey. So with this, uh, I would like to express my deep gratitude to everyone who has facilitated in my journey towards this process of self-exploration. And I continue to do so. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thank you all for helping me with this. Namaste. It's always a pleasure to hear Vanshana Ji. And like I have shared earlier also in, in her sharings, that sincerity and honesty comes across. Actually describing what she is going through is very easy to see from her sharing because in a very transparent way she has described how she is exploring within 
and the progress that she is making, the calm that she is able to experience within as her exploration becomes deeper. And if we see her participation also, despite having a very full life with a job, children, family, mother-in-law, having responsibilities at home, having responsibilities at work, despite all of that, she is able to participate in the volunteering activities um, in a very big way. We are all familiar with her because she is there in so many of the activities. So we hear her, we, you know, sort of see her on Zoom for all of these. And then there are face-to-face -face workshops and so many others and so many other volunteering activities in the background where uh, she is giving her participation. So this, what we describe of, um, on the one hand, working for realization within, and on the other hand, the participation outside. This example, uh, we can see very nicely in Panchanaji. And I can see the progression from the, you know, the initial sharing still now. And I can see how she is slowly moving towards more and more and more calm. This ability to see the feeling. If I go back to the first sharing, I can see a lot of growth. And um, to be able to see some of the sanskars. Of course, it's a long journey. We can all see that there is still work to be done and there will be many more deeper sanskars that keep emerging. But once the exploration starts and we keep at it, then we can experience the happiness quotient rising within and that itself becomes our motivation to keep going. So all the very best, Vanchanaji. Wonderful to hear you again. Best wishes for your onward journey also. Thank you, Devi. Thank you. Ji, uh, thank you, Shamla Didi, for the remarks and your comments regarding the sharing of Vanchana uh, Didi. That is enriching for all of us. I can also get connected to what you are telling uh, in your comments.